Hey guys, so um, today is 6.30, um, 2022, and today is my oldest birthday. Um, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely proud of the young lady she has become, and I really can't even believe that she's 13 years old. You know, um, I remember her being big enough to fit in my hand, and... Now she's 13 and running around and just kind of pretty much telling me what to do. <laughs> I love her so dearly. It's Elizabeth's birthday and all the kids from now on are going to get a video from me on their birthday. I'm so proud of her growth as a homeschooling kid and being in different social environments and making friends and understanding how to carry herself as a kingdom child and knowing her worth and knowing that she's more than just what the culture says. And I'm just proud of the, her decision-making process, her growth as a person. I love the fact that she's willing to give and help and she's become a great leader of all of her siblings. She helps with Naomi every single day. Um, I just... I love that kid. <laughs> I, she's my oldest child and she walks around like a little um, adult in how she handles herself. Um, and I'm excited for for the growth to come. Um, really, I am making this video out of obedience so I can show you guys a little bit of the vulnerability that's in me. Because... Um, yeah, if you know anything about my testimony, the restoration started um, years ago. We we were separated and um, we were meeting at a Chick Fil A, and we were separated. And I saw my I saw my three kids at the time and Mary, and um, my phone rang, and it was a girl that I had been seeing, and at the time and I picked up the phone out of bitterness and anger and frustration and I said hey babe and this is the thing that people don't like to talk about in the restoration process nobody really understands the bitter fruit that you will deal with later because of the decisions that you might make today so uh, I remember when we first got separated, like literally it was supposed to be a two week separation and my oldest daughter came to me crying at the time she was, you know, 10, I believe, or younger or nine, something like that. And she said, you know, she said, hey, daddy, like, where are you going? What's going on? I'm like, I'm just going to go stay at grandpa's for a little bit. I will be back in about a couple weeks. It's OK. Everything is fine. Um, and I pro I said, I promise, don't worry, everything will be okay. So now that I think about it, you know, I promised her that I would come back and she took that to heart because she knows her dad. And, you know, the one thing I'm not is I'm not a man that I should lie. If I make a mistake, I'll own up to it. I'm an accountable person. You know, I don't do everything per perfect and I try my very best to follow the rules and one thing is I promised her something and then that two week separation turned into a three year separation where my wife remarried somebody we did get divorced and so that day at that Chick-fil-A when um, I picked up my phone and I called another woman babe it really let my daughter know in her mind, she was like, this is really over. You're going to break this promise to me. And so the look she shot me was just like, you're a liar. And I see that. And it was like God revealing to me a soul wound that I was planting in her, a wound that was going to perpetuate itself later on in life for years and years and years because I couldn't keep my word in this one instance. And now seeing that that look started our restoration, it really, it really did. Because after that, there's nothing that you could say to me that would make me not want to do and be where I am now. They're downstairs and our new restoration baby, Naomi, is also downstairs. My father is downstairs. Um, 
Mary is downstairs and you know, I just want to say happy birthday to my baby. All of this is started from that one look. And I want to thank her on her birthday for giving me that look and being willing, even though she may have not meant to, to hold me accountable. It's made me the person that I am today. And I thank you so much for that, Elizabeth. I love you so very much. Happy birthday. Happy 13th birthday. Um... And I cannot wait to see you grow, keep growing older and keep making progress and meeting your goals and your expectations for life. Daddy will always be here for you. I love you and I will talk to everyone later.